Are we going ice fishing in there? Yeah. Bring your auger. When you're right around the corner, we thought we would switch things up. Before we get locked out of the lake by ice, we wanted one last fish fry for the year. After battling through some ice to get out on the water, we make it to the first spot, and the wind's already howling. Uh, I don't know, I'm seeing stuff at 17 here, so... 17 or 20 probably. Today's target is the delicious yellow pickle, or walleye for you southern folks. Good. Gary, Gary. Oh, fucking slot side. Where are you going? Where are you going, y'all? What's that dude? You begging? Keep telling me you're fucking funny, but. Oh, hey. Tape's right there. Right on the floor beside you. By your right hand. Maybe 19. Catching a limit pickerel in Georgia Bay can be difficult. Not because you won't catch enough fish, but because there is a no keep slot size from 16 to 22 inches. This means you need at least a 22 and a quarter inch fish to be a keeper, and you are only allowed one. Your other fish has to be less than 16 inches. For the most part, these two size ranges of fish are generally not in the same spots. Oh, here you go, up again! There are typically schools of hunters, those that are under 16 inches. Other schools have 18 to 24 inch fish, and then schools with the larger 25 to 30 plus inch fish, all using different areas of the lake. This makes filling your two fish limit somewhat tricky, especially since fish under 16 inches are barely worth the effort to clean. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah, that's so great. Yeah, 29. Pinch the tail, she'll be over. Rolling motor's on full blast right now. We're moving like backwards. Pretty sure it's already dead. Fighting the wind with the boat top up is not good for conserving battery life. Since we weren't able to stay in the spots we wanted to fish, we decided to make a move to more protected waters. Oh, he's hooked up! Is he yep. hooked up? Where's the boy? That's in the area. Oh, it's Pike. I can see them all over on the 360 right now. It's quite a lot right here. Like I can count like over a dozen. After marking a ton of fish and cycling through all the normal presentations we use without any success, we started downsizing and diving into the ice fishing tackle trains. Right in the slot. A jig head and a gulp that's this big. Yeah. I don't know. Smaller is better. Is it an under? Could it be a perfect under? Yeah. <laughs> 
Got more head chase, that's for sure. Oh, that's a really good one. Can you get She's got some, at least 20s because she's all bent. Oh uh, yeah, she's like 20 over 23. I think. Wait, let's, before I put it in there, put this out. I want to lay it on top. Just to be sure because sometimes. This might not be a fucking cookie, I don't know. This is quite big. Like, I'm not really moving it, it's just swimming towards us. This is quite big. Like, I'm not really moving it, it's just swimming towards us. Quite a bit heavier than the last one. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> huh. huh. That's embarrassing. Is that none? Is that none? Oh. Another one. Yeah. This one feels heavier. Feels heavier. He was ready for that for a fucking lifetime. <laughs> Is he good? Uh, you think that's it, right? Probably right in the slot. Yeah, be... the fucking slot. Hey, hey, I'm on the fucking board. Oh, fuck, oh it might be an under. Might be an under. He said the hook like it was fucking 70 pounds. Well, it was. <laughs> I think she's on. Eh? Not 
Well, we weren't able to get our limit, the short morning fish still produced enough to whip up a tasty dinner. A simple recipe of pan frying and garlic butter is all that is needed and is delicious. Fishing is fun, but we can all agree, catching is a whole lot better. Fishing is a puzzle, and our Zero to Hero Masterclass is here to help you solve regardless of where, when, or what you fish for. If you've never picked a rod before, or you've been fishing for a lifetime, our program will teach you all you need to catch more and bigger fish every time you hit the water. You'll learn how to use fish biology and environmental cues to figure out the hows and whys of their behavior in order to plan your fishing trips, make smart, informed decisions on the water, and ultimately put more and bigger fish in the boat. The new wave of fishing is here. Are you ready to catch it?